Playfair cipher. This is an example of polygraphic substitution. Polygraphic is a substitution that involves replacing a group of characters in a message with a different group of letters or characters. Playfair is a form of block cipher. Block ciphers have no limit on the number of characters in the message it can do, but it operates on blocks of characters encrypting and decrypting two characters at a time. Playfair cipher encryption. Alice and Bob agree a key word to the puzzle. First, Alice creates a 5x5 five five grid. Although there are 26 letters in the alphabet, only 25 squares are required, as I and J are incorporated into one square, as there are virtually no words where it is not obvious which letter is required. Alice writes the key word in the first spaces left to right. Each letter can only be used once, so further use of a letter is ignored. Remaining spaces are filled up with the rest of the letters of the alphabet, being sure not to double up a character. P, U, Z. As Z has been used once, you can't use it again. L, E. A, B, C, D. E has been used. F, G, H. As mentioned before, I and J together. K, L has been used, M, N, O, P has been used, Q, R, S, T, U has been used, V, W, X, Y, and Z has been used. Alice wants to send Bob a message. The meeting is at Tree Forest. The gaps in the words are closed, and wherever there are two letters the same together, they must be broken up, adding an X in between them. These are the rules of encrypting Playfair cipher. If both letters are in the same row, replace them with the letter on the right of the letter. If the letter is on the end, go back to the start of the same row and use the letter to replace with the end letter. If both of the letters are in the same column, replace them with the letter below them. If the letter is on the bottom, go back to the top of the column and use the letter to replace with the bottom letter. If neither of the letters are in the same column nor same row, imagine creating a rectangle with two letters on opposite corners. Write down the other two letters on the corners of the rectangle. These rules will become clearer as we see the encryption process. Alice creates the table. She places two letters of the plain text in each square of the first row. Then, referring to the three rules, she decides which one is relevant to the group of two letters and puts the number of the rule in the square in row two. In row three, she places the encrypted letters, repeating this for the whole of the message. As TH are not in the same row or column, this is rule three. To create a rectangle, the letters V and G are needed. So V, G are the encrypted letters for TH. As E, M are in the same column, rule 2 applies. The letters below E and M are the encrypted letters. In this case, F and S. As E, X are in different rows and columns, rule 3 applies. So to make the rectangle, L and Y become the encrypted letters. E, T is rule 3, so the encrypted letters become P and Y. I, N is rule 3 and becomes G, Q. G, I is rule 1, as they are in the same row, so the letters to the right, H and K, are the encryption letters. S, A is rule 3, becoming N, F. T, X is rule 1, becoming V, Y. TR is rule 3, becoming XN. EF is rule 2, becoming FM. XF is rule 3, becoming YD. OR is rule 1, becoming QS. ES is rule 2, becoming FY. TX is rule 1, becoming VY. This is the ciphertext for... The meeting is at Tree Forest.
Playfair cipher decryption. If both letters are in the same row, replace them with the letters on the left of the letter. If the letter is at the start, go back to the end of the same row and use the letter to replace with the start letter. If both of the letters are in the same column, replace them with the letter above them. If the letter is on the top, go back to the bottom of the column and use the letter to replace with the top letter. If neither of the letters are in the same column nor same row, imagine creating a rectangle with two letters on opposite corners. Write down the other two letters on the other corners of the rectangle. Bob receives the ciphertext message. Create a grid and insert the ciphertext into the first row, two letters to each square. Bob applies the decryption rules to each square, noting the rule number below and what the decrypted letters are in the bottom row. VG is rule 3, becoming TH. FS is rule 2, becoming EM. LY is rule 3, becoming EX. PY is rule 3, becoming ET. GQ is rule 3, becoming IN. HK is rule 1, becoming GI. NF is rule 3, becoming SA. VY is rule 1, becoming TX. XN is rule 3, becoming TR. FM is rule 2, becoming EF. YD is rule 3, becoming XF. QF is rule 1, becoming OR. FY is rule 2, becoming ES. VY is rule 1, becoming TX. Once Bob has the plain text, he removes the X's and the message is, the meeting is at Tree Forest.